Hi, it's me again, George, and what I'd like to talk to you about in this video is the, the ventilation dynamics, total cycle time, TI, and TE. And as you can see on the board behind me, total cycle time is abbreviated TCT, inspiratory time is abbreviated TI, and expiratory time is, is abbreviated TE. So TI, time for inspiration, TE, the time that it takes for exhalation. And what we're going to talk about is the dynamics or the relationship of all these values together. So this is kind of what the relationship happens to be. The total cycle time that you get from the patient's respiratory rate could be potentially this long. And within this total cycle time, there has to be a period for inspiration and there has to be a period for exhalation. So if we arbitrarily make a mark like this, we could say this is the TI that the patient took, and this is the TE, or the time for exhalation, that the patient took, right over here. Okay, so the TI and the TE are all encompassed, or occur within the total cycle time. So TI, time for inspiration, TE, time for exhalation. Now there's a way of calculating out TI, TE, and total cycle time. And it's kind of like this. This is the formula for it. Your uh, TI is equal to total cycle time minus TE, and TE is equal to total cycle time minus TI. We can also then say that the total cycle time can also be calculated if you know the TI and the TE. So TI plus TE. All right, so let's do the first one. If you happen to know the patient had a respiratory rate equal to 15 breaths per minute, and the TE, the expiratory time of that patient was, let's say for example, three seconds, what's the TI? How do we solve that out? Well, we know with the respiratory rate of 15 per minute that the total cycle time is going to be equal to four seconds. Once you have the total cycle time of four seconds, you can now use that in your calculation to figure out what the TI is. And we know TI, is equal to TCT minus TE. We've got our total cycle time, we've got our expiratory time, we can now figure out I time. So TI is equal to four minus three, so the TI then is equal to one second in length. And that's how you do that calculation. It's fairly, basically it's fairly simple, but in some cases if you're dealing with decimal points you might have to use a calculator. All right, so let's do another one. Let's say, for example, the patient's respiratory rate was equal to 20 per minute. And you happen to have a TI equal to 0 0.5 seconds. You need to calculate out the patient's TE. So how would you do that? Well, again, if you've got the respiratory rate, you can get the total cycle time of the patient. And if you have the eye time, you can then use the eye time, subtract that from the total cycle time, and you get your TE value. So TE then would be equal to total cycle time minus TI. So again, our total cycle time is equal to 60 divided by the respiratory rate. So that's equal to three seconds. So then TE has to be equal to TCT minus TI. It's equal to three minus 0 0.5 each or seconds. We get a TE then equal to, and I'm sorry I have to make it so small down here, but that would be equal to 2.5 seconds. Okay, so that's how you figure it out for TI and TE. And the last thing we're gonna kinda look at is calculating out total cycle time. So if you happen to have 
a TI equal to uh, 1.2 seconds and a TE equal to 3 seconds, what's the total cycle time? So the total cycle time is equal to your TI plus your TE. So 1.2 seconds plus 3 seconds gives us a total cycle time of roughly 3 point, four, sorry, 4.2 seconds. You're going to find that your total cycle time is not always going to be an even number. It could be an odd number, it could also be a decimal or a number with a decimal place, okay? So that's how you calculate out the values with TI and TE and total cycle time. Hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you liked it, hit like. If you didn't like it, the dislike. And also let me know if there's any ways that I can improve it. And if you get a chance, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.